Okay, this is about the third time I've tried to do a recording of Panzer Elite. This is the original Panzer Elite as released in 1999. We've been working on the code for almost tw 20 years. This version I call Full Full Monty DirectX 9. It isn't real DirectX 9, it's just compiled with the DirectX 9 executables. This has the Italian and Normandy missions in it from the original game. A lot of them have been very changed after 20 years. Um, the code also Im um, improves the gunnery, the penetration against slope and gunner accuracy over range depending over tank and skill levels. I'll find a mission which is fairly quick but gives it a decent explanation of the game. There are so many scenarios. In the base game there was over 50 scenarios and each scenario takes about half an hour to one hour so it's a lot of gameplay. I'll try the Sam Barthelemy one for the German side. It's quite interesting. We'll give a description of the historical one. This was the Mortain counter-attack a few months after the D-Day landing by the German side. This is your tank setup screen. When you press the space bar, it shows the clickable areas. That's Mr. Cow. The main things to click on is this, your adjutant, who lets you change the, your crew in each position and skill. If you want to change the tank, the tank in its position, or extras like scurs and guards, ammo loads or fuel. Here's the HQ, is actually the realism panel. It's um, depending how much AI help. The most, one of the most useful things, if the mission's too hard, you can reduce the enemy experience and increase your side's experience. I'll leave this tank selection as it is. I'll put Skurzen on the Panzer 4J. It doesn't make much difference on the Panthers. I'll give my good crew, because I want to win this mission for the recording. Command is most important, gunner and driver. The spotting of command is very important, but he also gives a boost to all the other stats of the people in your crew. I do my the, my player tank last because he has the advantage of a, a human player. Now to the briefing table. It gives weather report, goals, Clear the town, said Bartholomew. Destroy some enemy. Gives you a hint. Watch out for OT gun positions. Again, the um, description. And it has a staged briefing that comes up here now. You are deployed here. To your left is Zug Adler. Whereas to your right, Zug Milan is waiting to be led into battle by you. Just follow the roads leading west to San Barcelemi. Which is your main objective for today. Be aware of dark and American AT guns, favorably on hilltops like these. Or that one over here. These are big hints. As soon as you got to San Barcelemi, look for some good defensive positions of your own. Because the American will surely try to come up with some reinforcements. Again, it gives another basic description of the mission. Although you can't see the makeup of the other platoons, you'll be able to work ahead in the game as I'll show you. 
usually goals are areas you have to clear. They may be linked to, to other AI movement of platoons, so it's worth doing them. Okay. This is our player tank. I have external views enabled. If you want to be more serious, you would disable external views in the options menu. This is the map. This is the spotting circles of they aren't exactly the distance they can see, but they give a rough idea of the regions the the AI can see. The AI can see out, out to 2,000 metres, but it's a probability score depending on the size of the units and a clock timer as they look as you as the unit looks around this around its arc of vision. I'll go back to my tank into the commander position and we'll head off. You won't this is early in the morning. Seven o'clock in the morning, it's a, a little bit of fog around. I'll change to line formation. 50 metre separation. I usually play with voice control software, but because I'm giving a commentary, I've turned it off. I know this mission pretty well, but I have recently changed some of the AT gun positions. And I can't rem remember any if I did anything else as well, so there'll be a few surprises. I'll stop here and just let my tanks form up in the formation. The AI is fairly good in this game. It'll be very helpful. The biggest problem they have is getting into a safe hold down position. You do have to baby them a bit, especially in the defence, otherwise they'll crawl up on the crest and get destroyed a bit easily. We'll just get across this little creek and then we'll have a, another look around. Water's pretty rudimentary in this game. Large areas will will damage your tank's engine, but these little creeks don't matter. I'll try and straighten the line up a bit here. Okay, I'll have a look around now. nothing there. I'll check back on the hill we were warned about in the briefing. There's a truck there. Wingman spotted target, 2 o'clock, 800 meters. Wingman spotted target, 2 o'clock, 900 meters. We do have artillery support. I could... This is them here. I might drop some HE mortar just to clear them up a bit. American units, it's been destroyed. The other units are moving quite slowly. They might be waiting on us to advance a bit more. I'll head to this first junction up ahead. There's a bit of a hill here. I'll change formation to echelon right. 50 metre spacing so they match the terrain better. You can actually define all the formation distances in a text file if you want authentic World War II formations. But um, echelon, column, V, inverted V, wedge. Attention to all! We have reports of an unmanned tank destroyer in this area. Yeah. There are many voice recordings. We 
which can be linked to events in the scenario. I'll check on the hill. Yep, there's another jeep. Three o'clock, nine hundred meters. An anti-aircraft half-track. You can select a platoon member and then click on the unit and they'll attack it. I shut my gunner up because I want to keep him for more dangerous things than a jeep, but I've sent tank 3 to attack him. It turns blue when they attack the unit. Right. I think we've both woken them up at 7 o'clock in the morning. Let's see what happens next. So my number one tank's engaging something. Oh, he's engaging over on the hill there. One of the messages we got was um, Camp Group Sangweld. It's um half track mounted infantry they're going to come and hold some of the towns target spotted 11 o'clock 200 meters target spotted 12 o'clock 100 meters American unit up there was an AT gun hidden in the houses My target acquired jumping distance American unit has been destroyed I explosion I'm the advantage of playing this machine this mission for 20 years. We'll back up. Fairly impervious to the Sherman 7. Oh, it's a 76. American unit has been destroyed. I've never run into a tank between the houses here before. The platoon AI has some randomness built in it. Oh, there's another tank here. Trying to escape. Each time you play them, there can be quite different results to where the enemy appears. The Panthers is quite good against the Shermans head-on, but the sides are not very good. I know it's going to be a bit tricky, but we'll head out there. Back off the ridge so we're in, I'm a bit in, in cover more. I might change the column for the motion. There was also a warning earlier on about some M10, M10 tank destroyers. Go to work. 
echelon left here, baby. Target, There's that other hill. Line formation. I'll fire at will. There's the some more Americans on this hill. Oh, there's an anti-tank gun there. I only played this game at 1280 by 720s because otherwise the units show up too well at long range. American units has been destroyed. I'll have to go there. I'll change to inverted wedge formation. some of my platoon to come close. I'll send the Panzer IV into the town. I don't want to lose one of my Panthers here. Again, I have to give him a new fire at will, otherwise he wouldn't fire till he gets to the position you've, you've um, have clicked for him. It seems okay. I'll follow him through.
Someone's coming up on our side. Four o'clock, 300 meters. the mission about 50 times. I'll head towards the town. I might go back to column formation. I can't, can't remember if there was three or four or five M10s in this platoon. We'll find out soon. Having destroyed three, I think the others will have retreated. Someone behind me. Wingman fires at will. Understood. Firing at Oops. will. Target expired. Just in distance. The American oh. unit has been destroyed. Another one of my wingmen got him. Yeah, the AI is quite good in this game. They they do their work. I am using fire with no machine gun. I'm still worried about that hill over here. If if the road takes me closer to them. I'll check up on that hill. There's still one truck there. Ah, there's one more I take That's the one I was worried about. I can drop artillery on it. I'll put everything on him. HE and 75 Howitz. I'll just wait a minute for that to happen. Everything still happens when the map's open. All the AI and damage can still occur, so you're not safe when the, the map's open. Oh, now Zugadal is moving quicker. Zug, my land's a bit stuck by the looks of things. So Eagle's almost at the time of year. See how this artillery falls over there. Oh. Wingman at six units. I'll send one of my platoon tanks to kill it. That AT gun's dead. A trick is if you select the AI wingman and tell him to it and click on the enemy unit. If it doesn't turn blue, the enemy's already dead. Road 
my land is attacking the levee. Oh, the trigger was attacking the AT gun nest for Zug Malan. I'll wait off on the side of the road here and let one of the other Panzer groups advance into the town and we'll follow them behind them. I'll stop the recording here, it's gone on long enough.